Hey everyone! Welcome or welcome back to another Pig Card Reading here on my YouTube channel, Into the Light. Thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video. So today is a YouTube short, so this will be a short clip um, for each pile um, to figure out who is coming towards you, okay? So we have four groups to choose from today. We have group one with the clear quartz, group two with the rose quartz, group three with the lavender rose quartz, and group four with the black onyx. So think about the question, who is coming towards me? And allow your intuition to guide you to your crystal or pile of choice. And without further ado, we're going to get started with the video. I'll see you at your reading. Okay, so if you have chosen the clear quartz, who is coming towards you? Let's see. So again, this is a YouTube short, so I'll just be going over who this might be and why they're coming towards you as well, okay? So we have Prosperity Lies Ahead, so that's New Moon and Taurus. So already I'm seeing this person can be a Taurus. Again, apply it to their sun, moon, or rising. So Taurus, Sagittarius, okay? Those are the two signs popping up right now. Um, so this person, they're coming towards you because this has to do with um, some sort of offer. This person wants to collaborate with you. Perhaps this person sees the work that you're doing and they really like it because we have Saturn here. This person is mature, so they're older than you. Um, definitely getting masculine energy. Like this person is definitely very masculine this person could be a man or um that's just like how their energy is okay i'm also getting that this person could be reaching out um for a job offer for you okay this might have to do with if you are like an influencer or do some sort of content or your work or whatever you do for career you can like be in different areas while working so you can re work remotely I see you getting like an offer to travel somewhere and you can work from there as well so that'll be really fun for you okay so I feel like whoever is coming towards you this person let me kind of move these around for a second because this is a full spread here. Let me read this out. Yeah, this person could be offering you um, a position or this person could see your potential. Again, if you do some kind of content or you put like something like your work out online, this person wants to kind of help guide you. Um, this person might want to help manage you or this person has some sort of idea that you can do like they want to collaborate with you so you can like put yourself more out there perhaps this person will email you about like how to get more um, views or how to get more clients you know maybe somebody's going to work with you I'm also getting you might be joining a Facebook group and somebody in the Facebook group is going to want to reach out to you because they like your product or they like um what you do perhaps for some of you you're a life coach because again whatever you do for work you're serving other people um this could also be like a friend that wants to reach out to you and like give you advice about like uh maybe how to do things um but this person is more like mature like they have spent more time doing what you're doing right now and that's why you're going to like really be thankful for their advice um, for some of you, I'm also getting here that, hmm, yeah, I'm also getting here that this person that's coming towards you is definitely, like, very abundant, so it's, like, you being approached by them is going to kind of shock you or surprise you because it's, like, wow, like, you really notice me, um, you really notice, like, this is something that, I'm doing really well at and you're already really good at this like you know it's like a pro coming to an amateur kind of energy not saying that you're amateur but like you know this person is more mature they've been in this for longer than you have I'm also getting if you have some sort of business like a small shop this person coming towards you is going to give you a really good review or will post like your products or will give you a review online that will like you know go to their platform 
and that will make you really happy because again you are getting out there more because of this person right because of this person has helped you in some sort of way so that's what i'm seeing uh who is coming towards you if you enjoyed that reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see y'all in the next one bye now all right, so if you have chosen the Rose Quartz, who is coming towards you? So this is a YouTube short, so I'm gonna try to go through this um, quickly as possible without boring you. <laughs> so I know sometimes like we have like a shorter attention span these days because you know we're in the day of TikTok and all that. So you know you have a lot more cards here actually. So this might here. How about I do this? Okay, so who is coming towards you? The signs that I'm currently seeing right now are Aries. Um, the moon is ruled by Cancer, so it could also be Cancer. Libra. And 10th house. What is 10th house ruled by again? Oh my goodness. I'll figure it out. Um, but so basically what I'm seeing, the person that's coming towards you is somebody that is very interested in you. This is somebody that like, likes you that wants to kind of take things to like another level with you but this person has like been hiding their feelings or hasn't been really upfront about it again they could have their moon in libra or aries again apply this to the person's sun moon or rising so again their moon could be in aries libra or their sun or rising could be in aries and libra or cancer Okay, so this person, because this is like Aries energy, and then we have the moon and Libra, it's like this person, they're going to be charging towards you to tell you like how they feel after a while of like not saying anything. Because like with Aries, it's like Aries won't be super open until like they know for sure that this is what they want to do. Like this is what they want to um, take on in their life, right? Because Aries, like, as soon as an Aries knows, like, okay, this is what I want, this is what I want to do, they're going to charge forward and do it, right? And it has to do with their feelings, their emotions, because we have the moon here and Libra, so it's about relationships. Um, so I see this person coming towards you, wants to have a relationship with you. This could be somebody that you went on a date with or somebody that you had a situationship with or a friendship with and you, like, had feelings for each other, but things never really, like took off so this person is coming towards you okay with 10th house you and this person will be a power couple with libra and 10th house like you'll be a power couple people will really love you two together as a partnership um you're going to be very successful when you get a relationship with this person too like you and this person are going to help each other grow like with work with abundance perhaps some of you might be creating some sort of social media account with your partner in the future like whoever you're dating and this will help you guys grow okay because you're like do it with your partners and your career so again your relationship is going to help your career it's going to benefit your career there's going to be success with this relationship too oops because i'm seeing relationships um success is here the beauty of success accept the beauty of success so again like this is going to be something that this person has been feeling for a long time but they're finally accepting their feelings they're finally accepting like you know what i can't get over this person so i'm going to make some movements towards you we also have faith in your have faith in your dreams so again like this person could have been dreaming about you a lot or could have been dreaming about like daydreaming about this connection but like, again, when this person was daydreaming, they would like kind of push it to the side and just like focus on work or something else because they've been thinking about you way too much. So they're like, okay, this feeling has to pass. It's probably going to pass. It's probably going to pass. But it never passed, right? So now they're like, you know what? Maybe it's time to take a chance on this connection. So this is a person that's coming towards you. Um, if you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. Okay, so if you have chosen the Lavender Rose Quartz, you have found your way to your reading. So who is coming towards you? Let's figure it out. Okay, so the person coming towards you. So apply this to their sun, moon, or, or rising, okay? So they can be in Aries or Pisces. Again, apply it to their sun, moon, or rising. This person coming towards you, they are, 
not seeing anything really romantic or anything like that, but it's like this person sees your potential. Perhaps you've been doing really well. Um, and people can see that because of what you're posting and putting out online. Perhaps you started something new. Um, yeah, because the thing is people see your drive. People see like how successful you are. People see how you can like take an idea and like bring it to reality. People see how you can manifest really easily. And you're always doing something with Mars. It's like you're always taking action on something, right? But with Pisces here, it's like it's like intuitively like you don't only have that intellectual understanding but you also have the intuitive understanding and the third house this is why it's so easy for you to like spread messages or um make the right connections or meet like the right people because you put yourself out there and you intuitively know like who is like right for you and who you want to stay away from you intuitively know like what energies you want to get into so the person coming towards you is trying to like get a look into your life really it, I'm getting like a window like I'm seeing like a window and somebody looking in so somebody wants to look at how you do things this person could be a friend or like a crush or just somebody that's just really interested in what you do like I'm not really getting any like romantic or you know energy here it's more like platonic but this person is just really like happy for you for some for some people this person could be a little bit jealous about your success but it's like a healthy jealousy it's not one where like they're going to like wish ill on you or anything like that but it's like this person just wants to see into your life maybe this person's going to ask you for advice on how to do something they want your ideas okay this person wants to be closer to you because they see that you're successful and they kind of want like that energy that you have to rub off on them we also have again a fiery climax approaches so this is about someone that this is about having so much energy and having so much um so much strong will and so much confidence to do something so that when it comes to like the day that you're about to do it you're like, you know what, I'm so ready. I feel confident. I'm so here for it. So it's like the person coming towards you, like it might have taken a lot of confidence for them to come towards you. Because again, this person might be struggling with their own like life purpose. They could be struggling with their job. They could be struggling with like figuring out their talents or their skills. So it's like this person had to build up a lot of courage to come towards you. But again, with a fiery climax approaches, this person feels like, Anything that you do, like, you're successful at it. Like, say you start YouTube, you're successful at that. Say you start TikTok, you uh, grow your followers really quickly, okay? So this person wants to know how you do these things, and that's why they're coming towards you, okay? So that's what I got for you that shows group three, yeah, with the Lavender Rose Quartz. If you enjoy that reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. Okay, so if you have chosen the Black Onyx, you have found your way to your reading. So who is coming towards you? Let's actually go over here. Let's figure that out. So again, this is a YouTube short, so I'm going to try to get as detailed as possible in a short amount of time, okay? Okay. So who's coming towards you? Okay, this is another group where it's like a romance situation. Okay, so somebody's very attracted to you. Um, this person could be a Leo. There's double Leo here, so definitely Leo. Apply it to their sun, moon, or rising. Okay, so Leo, sun, moon, or rising. I'm also getting with Venus here. That is the, um, associated with Libra. So it could be a Libra, sun, moon, or rising. Or we have 8th house here, which is associated with Scorpio. So there could be a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising. Okay? So this person is very attracted to your self-confidence. They're very attracted to your drive. They think that you have a lot of confidence that um, helps you through life because it's like that confidence gives you that personal power to take on new opportunities. It gives you that power. That confidence gives you that power to... Um, try new things and put yourself out there and not be afraid to be in front of the world you know it's like the world is your stage and this is what this person is so attracted to like about you is just your confidence right they see you as very successful because of the confidence that you have they also see you as very beautiful I'm hearing really nice to look at 
So this person might even feel like, say, um, you know, if you if someone saw you walking down the street, somebody random, they would think that you're beautiful. It's like everybody can like see you and there's just something about you that's very beautiful, very attractive. So this person is coming towards you because they want to eighth house. Okay, for some, this person is coming towards you because they think you're attractive and because they think you're attractive, they want to like, you know, have a fun time with you if you know what I'm saying, like sex, because it is the eighth house here, right? Um, but also this person could just be really flirty with you. It doesn't have to be like, oh, like they're just coming towards you for sex because it's kind of, you know, but unless you know this person, like unless this is someone that you're like in a relationship with or had like a situation with before in the past and you would be like so like fine with that, then go ahead and do it because like everyone's different. Anybody would, you know, some people would want to just have sex and just like leave it at that. Other people would want a relationship. So like it doesn't really matter. That's really up to you. Okay, but yeah. Others... If it's not sex, this person is coming towards you because they feel like their life would be better if you were if you were in it. Like they feel like your good energy and like your confidence could rub off on them and they feel like you would help them be successful as well. Like they would do anything. Like this person would do anything for you because you're just so beautiful, so sweet, so strong, so confident. But it's like they feel like you would be doing even more for them than they could do for you, you know? Um, so that's why they're coming towards you here. Also, pleasure from taking a chance on the mysteries of life. So it's like this person is feels like you're very different. Maybe something about you is unconventional. Maybe you have a different way of like expressing yourself or you have like a different um, career that a lot of people don't really understand or get into or understand how you could even like be making so much money from this career or from this hobby that you have so it's like they're taking a chance on you because you're very mysterious and you're very different you stand out from the crowd we also see good times resulting from the impressiveness of a major change so this person could have went through a major life change themselves um you'll know this person because they might have like cut their hair or like changed their style or dyed their hair. They did something different here. This person could be really artsy as well. Like they're into music, painting, all of that good stuff. This person is also really beautiful and would be really successful too, but they don't have the confidence. Like they have the skill, but they don't have the confidence. Um, and again, confidence is key, is your key to success. And this goes both ways for you and this person. Okay. Also with 8th house being here too, this person might even want to work with you on something, you know, because this is about other people's resources. So like they feel like you have like a good amount of skill set to help them with something, you know, so this person would want to work with you like that. But again, this person is super into you. So even if they try to be like, oh, like, I just want to work with you. I, oh, I just want to, like, get some advice on how to do this or get some, like, ideas or get your idea and, on how you think about so-and-so. Don't be fooled. This person is super into you, okay? But they're trying to play it off. But that's what I got for y'all that chose group four with the black onyx. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now.